All right, we got Big and Nyan Lopez. Oh, this one? Okay, this would have been a lot better if you could actually get a light touch here. Because this way, there's, like, if this guy full rushes you, he's an idiot. <laughs> so, you know, let him be an idiot if he really wants to. So you could just uh, tap it a lot lighter and then actually, you know, rip a shot into the net. Just a, light, a lighter touch here makes you your next touch so much more threatening. But we can't see boost? Fuck. All right, keep waiting mid. This guy's going to cut off, so you might want to go back a bit. Should fake challenge, buy some time. Okay, this this needs to be a much better touch. This cannot go mid. You're trying to stall time for your teammate, so this sort of touch is just going <laughs> to basically let them shoot it. If you do touch this, like, this touch has to be on purpose, like, and you have to be turning really quickly to go to, towards this mid. But you should just let this roll up the back wall while your teammate gets back. Because now, like, since you bounced it out like that, you're you're going to give them a shot. I was trying to roll up the wall. Okay, I mean, yeah, that works. But even then, like, if you just let this roll, like, you see this guy ripped it, just let it roll. Like, you didn't even have to touch it, and it would have went up. So good at YouTube, it's insane. Three, two out of tens in a row. Yeah, that actually is insane. That's a really good fake. Although, I would maybe try to just take it to the wall. They're probably expecting you to cut it, like, towards the net. So, if you can actually just take it all the way to the side. Or take a 50, because you kind of just tried to fake and nothing really worked. Also, this is way too slow of a rotation. Like, this is fine. Um, but, like, this drifting into the net, not so much. And I feel like, okay, I always tell people to rotate back post. But if your teammate's going to get beat here... It might be better to just play backboard on the front post. And the only reason I'm saying that is because you're in Grand Champ. And I feel like you should be able to handle that. Um, if you're like plat, I would never recommend it. But if you're giving them this little amount of space to take a shot. They're going to take advantage at this rank. And plat, that shit doesn't matter. This shit's never going in in plat. You would be able to contest this no problem if you're drifting to this corner like this. Um... But yeah, hold on, I'm trying to draw something. But yeah, you watch, you watch your teammate, and then if you see him getting beat, I would go up this wall. Like right here. Ah, uh, draw an arrow. <laughs> Where's my crosshair? Oh, there it is. That would be uh, much better, because like, just look how slow this is. Should have done a squinchy save, bro. Nah, but going off the front post there, especially if you're noticing your teammate is beat, uh, it's much better than that situation. Again, I wouldn't recommend that if you're like plat, but grain champ, you should be able to handle that. It's just all about like actually making that decision of doing it. Take your time. There's only one guy back. I think you kind of rushed this. So now they just have the ball and you're out of the play. I think you're, yeah, you're definitely scared of getting bumped there. I can see that. Let your teammate go. You're already in net. Oh, buddy. <laughs> buddy, you got a free shot here. What? How did you end up like this? Skip? Yeah, you literally broke your neck, bro. How did you end up this way? The misread. But the thing is, is like, it shouldn't even be a misread. Because if, if there's a mystery, that means you're rushing it. It's literally just a wide open touch. Look. Nobody's here. Just panic. Pure panic.
Okay, I would definitely be trying to make a play on the ball. I don't know if you bumped this guy on purpose. Um, but the ball is more important. You should not be flipping. Like, you should try to explain this the best I can. Uh, flipping here is, like, you don't really need to. It's just important that you can take the ball and just start driving it out. And then when this guy turns to 50, you, you actually 50 him. Because now you've just left... Look, I mean, just look what happens. Oh, you're so, you're so lucky he got demoed. Because you left your teammate to die by not playing the ball there. Oh, well, he missed. He, he missed. Okay. Anyway, the point is, you should be making a play on the ball there. <laughs> yeah, there's like two opportunities they could have scored it, and it just didn't go in. Take your time. He's going to be here. Even, okay. You don't want to pass this back because this Jamco guy is going to be back. If you rush this... um. If you rush this and this guy's like 50s you, then he's ready. If you rush it and he doesn't and you just hit it to their side, he's ready. So you might as well take your time and try to... If you go full speed up the wall like this, and this guy challenges you, he's going to go flying to the ceiling thinking you're going to hit it full speed. But if you slow down right before you hit it with 70 boosts, you're perfectly fine. Like, go full speed up the wall and slow down and try to dribble it all on that wall. Well, I guess you have 40 now, but I think you had 70 initially. See? So I said you hit it, Jamco's just ready for it. Although, well, I guess they both win. But still. He was ready regardless. So they're just passing it out to them. This is a bit too aggressive on you. Although you should be cutting this off too. And now you can't. Um, You shouldn't be flipping here. You need to play like the middle of the field. If he gets around you, he gets around you. Um... Yeah, if he gets around you, then that's, like, one thing. But you'll have time to get back. It's not like he's going to rip a shot into your net like this. For, well, for the most part. But even if he does rip a shot, if you're flipping, um, you're screwed. And then you should be cutting this off, too. And then, like, not this one. You should be going before the touch. And then this is your teammate's ball. And now you should be rotating back. Oops, I tapped off. I don't know if I can explain it well enough to where, like, why each one of these is your ball. But playing this more passively is much better. Like, right here. Um, so this way when he does this, or if he hits it mid or anything. Like, you have you have this area covered. And you still should be doing the cutoff. But your teammate spawned by now, so he should be ready for this. So this is, again, your cutoff. But now, you rotate behind your teammate. And this one you don't go for. Now you're going to get bumped, it looks like. Oh, what a save. Jesus. Okay, get some pads. Keep collecting. Got to catch them all. Just score goals while making sure you don't get scored on. Yeah, that too, actually. Um, I would... <laughs> okay, this little double... I think this is another one of your, like, pants... You remember when you had the free shot earlier and I was like, How are you sideways? And you, like, broke your neck or whatever and we all laughed. Haha. <laughs> um... This is the same exact thing, where you have space on the ball, and you just double jumped, and now you just, like, give away the ball again, essentially. Like, take your time when you're actually hitting, like, the ball. And then, well, I guess right here you shouldn't turn at this point. You could have made a, um... You could have made a turn instantly there. This is good. Just wait. Perfect. Perfect. Look at it. There's the patience. Clean. <laughs> Little shit flick, but that's okay. At least you took your time. I'm proud of you, bud. Look at that. And it ends up being a goal. So I just need to take my time? Yeah, please. I mean, look, the one time you actually took your time, you got a goal. That's good. Oh, so close. Um, One thing I would just recommend, this is a really weird spot because of the bounce as well. Just please, for the love of God, pan your camera. I have no clue if your teammate's here, and I don't think you do either, just by the way you played it. So if you just pan it, and you do, if you see him, then you just one-touch it, you got a chance. Please, please look for him. You can't be, you can't be guessing the whole time. Okay. <laughs> 
Just bump this shit out. Go for this ball. What the hell? You can't let him shoot that. You just bump the shit out of your teammate and then you don't go for it when it's bouncing out mid. Maybe he thought it was rolling out. Oh god, it's a disaster. Yeah, let's just uh let's just go sub mode. That's a good idea. Chat is uh as as we say cringe. The only thing I feel bad because there are like cool non subs, but some of them are just so fucking annoying. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, if people are just going to sit here and, and talk shit, like, I'm not going to deal with it. I mean, actually, well, let me just scroll up and just time people out who have been talking shit. Actually, that's probably easier. Nah, Lopez, it's it's not even you, bro. It's it's them. <laughs> it's them. <laughs> nah, but seriously. Um uh, legit people do this every fucking replay. Wait, what happened? Was this the thing off the backboard? No, it was a different goal. Okay. Uh Contact with the middle of the ball is going to avoid this. See how it just hits the bottom of your car, flings up. If you hit the... Uh, basically, hit the bottom of the ball. That's what I'm, what I'm pointing out. If you hit it up here, um, this will not happen. What's up, Orb? Yeah, that was, that was probably just on the kickoff, straight up. Oh god. Uh Okay, one thing to consider here is when you're cutting it like this, you're gonna go really slow on your cut, like hitting it to the left side. What you can do is take this towards Let me go a little bit further. Take this towards instead of cutting it like this, uh catch it to where you're going this way. Oh, I just clicked something. Um Guys, I'm stuck. Why am I stuck on this ball? <laughs> okay, what the fuck? Oh, okay, let me clear this. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, a disaster. Okay, instead of going this way, uh, go this way with the ball. Yeah, it looks like piss. <laughs> because if you do end up going this way, uh, this guy... <laughs> it's funny, I'm just drawing everything. This guy can't do shit. He has to, he has to go back here if you go this way. But uh, if you do take it towards him, he's able to challenge. And this guy, if you take it this way, has to go all the way here. Or here, if you go up the sidewall. To challenge you. Um, so he has to actually, like, commit on the sidewall to, to do something with this ball. And this guy has to go back. You don't want to go towards the guy who just went to the ball because he wants to be able to contest again. Or this guy has to actually um, think about whether he wants to go or not. This guy's going to go. But yeah, take it back here, and also, when you do something like this, taking it back to your corner, um, this guy might have to use boost, but the idea here is that he's going to your side, your side, while you're trying to create offense. Whereas, holy shit, what is that drawing? Whereas if you take it here, you're all, like always going to get stopped, like right at the sky, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what am I drawing anymore, dude? I don't even know. Anyway. The point is, um, you want to essentially bait this guy, this Jamco guy, to go into the play. Um, and force himself into the play. But when you do this, you're just going to easily contest it. And then you end up, I think you freaked out again. You just panicked a little bit. It's, fi it's fine to keep the ball close to you. You just have to try to take a better 50. Because when you do something like this, when you hit it towards them, then their touch is free. See? But if you stayed in front of it, the ball will at least like kill in front of you, most likely. But if you're giving them the free touch to boom it all the way downfield, um, they're going to take it every time. 
Take time. Just, just don't even panic. If he hits it, then go for the bull. Try to read his touch and then go for it. There. Easy. Hopefully. <laughs> Knock on wood. Perfect. Perfect. Look at that. Good flick. Um, the only thing, I, since this guy got demoed, you need to take a wider cut. Because just think about how far this guy is going to be. Well, he, you know, most likely he's going to be pretty far. But you don't want to give yourself... This is the same exact thing you were doing over here when you were trying to cut it. But if you give yourself space and you do something... Here, I'll just draw this again. The ball is bouncing, just say, like, right here-ish, right? So if you're doing this and trying to cut like this, your angle is, like, limited to, like, this or some shit, right? But if you actually... The ball lands here. If you give yourself some space... Yeah, that's, that's too small of a... Let's be at least realistic here. If you do something like this, and you give yourself space, then you can, like, actually have this huge angle on the ball. You see? Yeah, although this turn is not possible. <laughs> so, you know, make it maybe a little bit more subtle. Holy shit, I can't draw. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but give yourself some more space on the ball, and you're actually going to be able to... Um, I was going to say, yeah, that's, that's a pretty sharp fucking turn. You can't really do that too much. But this is possible with drifting to give yourself a really wide angle on this sort of thing. But you see your cut, you you limit yourself. And I'm gonna, I'm just going to show it one more time. I know I keep going back on this replay, but... Look at where you can hit this ball from this angle. Um, how do I go back? Oh, shit. Alright, this is, this is just my point. It's like basically here, and then I guess like here. That kind of looks like your angle. That's all you really got. But if you gave yourself more space with a little spinny spinneroo, and you gave yourself that uh, well, okay, let's not let's not do that line. Here's the, okay, you know what? Fuck that. <laughs> you get what I mean. <laughs> I can't draw it. Yeah, let's not make it too complicated. But again, it's essentially like that one wasn't really panic, but you didn't you didn't think about all your options essentially, and you cut yourself short. That was good trying to attempt to cut it off as well, flipping to where the ball is going to go. Really good bump, and this guy just has a flipper set. Good try. Grab some pads. Head back. Pads, pads, pads. Any pads? The only reason I don't like you going for this is because now you're going to be a lot slower to get back into the play, especially if your teammate passes it. 20 boost is enough. He does end up passing it. Oh, there you go. There you go. Cheese. He's at 318, by the way, chat. I think I think you should get a pad and go for the ball. You're a lot more threatening to be on top of this ball than to just going for the boost. Just watch Jamco. He's like, is he going to go? Nah, he's not going to go. Oh, shit, he missed. <laughs> but since you go for the boost, he's just like, yeah, I'm going to go for the boost. As soon as you flip, he's like, yeah, I'm going. Doesn't matter. But if you just stayed under the ball, he's going to be a lot more scared. You want to try to limit their options while giving yourself the most possible. Okay, you remember what we said. Back corner. Let's do it. Let us do it. If you have to take a 50, take a 50. Back corner. No. Too much mid. It's going like right here or some shit. I don't know. Take it this way. It almost worked out, too. But if you take it to the back corner, you would have been able to get the boost. And, uh... Take the ball along with you. There you go, there you go, there you go. Oh, the panic! Lopez, what are you doing? <laughs> Slow down! Slow down! <laughs> oh, is it free? I think it's free, bro. Oh, man. Yo. Okay, to be fair, this guy might have gotten back to save it. But even then, like, there's no reason to panic because this guy, nobody has a touch on this ball besides you. You could legit just wait for it to bounce. And when it bounces, you catch it. And then you dribble. And then you air dribble, quadruple flipper set. It's so easy. Uh, but take your time. Nobody's on that ball besides you. You can dribble it. You can actually take a shot. You don't have to rush into it just because it's close to you. 
You can you can still take your time. Good touch. You can still take your time and be the first one to the ball. It is possible. You just have to read a situation. That was a little risky going late, but I liked it. I like it a lot. Okay. I would probably fake challenge this. Okay, that guy backflipped. Just because if you fake challenge it, you're going to be able to... Um, he's going to boom it towards you, and you're going to be able to take a possession if you do that. Because he wants to beat you here. Um, you obviously want to beat him too, but if you do fake and like play towards your net... I guess he would have faked it, so it wouldn't have mattered. But then you would have uh, you would have the ball uh, heading back to towards your side. The ball going to your side is not bad. As long as, you know, it's not in their possession. Good fake. Oh, bang! That's 400 points, too. <laughs> Last second. Okay. Take your time. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Clean air drill. Bump his ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get in there. <laughs> That's what you love to see. No, why are you hitting it towards them? Dude, the ball. <laughs> you were so close. You were like 95% was all perfect and the five percent is like oh man look they hit it away from themselves why are you hitting it right back to them they're, they're all over here so don't hit it over here it's rolling this way just let it roll take it to the corner get the boost and carry the ball out get back up there get back on offense Space, space. The only guy that might be threatening is this jabated guy. Um, if he does a quick cut towards the ball. So you, you should be watching him. You should try to dribble, but you should be watching him to see what he does. And he left, so you should dribble. Right. Nice, nice. Oh god, teammate bad touch. Oh, you're doomed. Okay. But that last second, not bad. Or that last attempt, not bad. The only thing was uh, when the ball was... They hit it away from themselves and you hit it right back to them. You just dimed it back up. So it might have caused their offensive pressure to be there again. But that dribble... Uh, granted, you know, it probably wasn't your, your best work. But at least you dribbled. <laughs> Much better than the... At least, like, more towards the beginning of the game. Where you kind of just kept giving it to them. Try to take the ball back to your corner more, Lopez. It's not bad. If somebody... If, especially in twos. If somebody's going to full dive at you in, in your corner... The only possibility is like a random ass pinch that hopefully goes right to their teammate. If it doesn't happen, both of you guys are prepared to challenge.